Hi everyone, welcome to KDD Training Solutions. Myself Mohan, at this session we are going to discuss one of the interesting logical reasoning topic which is cube test. You know, cube test is quite popular in many government competitive exams, entrance exams, especially placement papers. So straight away we shall enter into our first question now. Now before entering into the problems, we should understand the basic quality of cube. Now you know cube is a three dimensional structure. So if it is three dimensional structure, we can find the volume. Now what is the basic difference between 2D and 3D? In 3D you can find volume total surface area. But in two dimensional structure you can find only area as well as its perimeter. So in mensuration part we shall discuss about 2D and 3D structures in detail. So here we are going to speak only about cube. So in cube all the sides are equal right. So cube totally have six faces and all the sides of the cube are equal. Now you can take this side as A. So first, first side is A that is length is A, breadth is A and height is A. So here length, breadth and height all are equal. Now if I am asking you to find volume of this cube, so simply you can say it is A cube. right? So length into breadth into height. So all are A, so you can say A cube is nothing but volume of this cube. Now a cube of side 6 cm is cut into small cubes of side 1 cm each. How many such small cubes will be formed? Okay, Here you can assume this is the big cube and sides of the big cube are 6 cm. Right, so cube of side 6 cm is cut into small cubes of side 1 cm. Now you are cutting this big cube into uh, the small cubes of side 1 cm each. So how many such small cubes will be formed? Now you know volume of the cube is A cube that is 6 cube. So 6 cube gives you 216. So 216 is nothing but volume of this big cube. Now if you cut this big cube into small cubes of side 1 1 cm each, Again, if you add the volume of all the cubes, that will be equal to 216 only, right? So, however, volume remains same, right? So, how you have to cut? You have to cut like this, right? So, if it is totally 6 cm side, so on length, you have to cut for 5 times, on breadth, you have to cut for 5 times, and on height, you have to cut for 5 times. So, if you cut for 5 times of 1 cm, you totally get 6 pieces of 1 cm each. So this one is 1 cm, 1 cm, 1 cm, 1, 1 and totally 6 cm. Again on the 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So on breadth region you have to cut for 1 cm for 5 times. On height also you have to cut for 5 times. So 1, 1, 1, 1 and 1. So totally 6 cm. Right? Now, uh, I, for your convenience, I have shaded only one cube. So this cube will be like this. So one centimeter each. So sides are one centimeter. Our question is, you will get how many such small cubes? So this is really simple. So what is the volume of the smaller cube? You know, volume of the cube is a cube. So volume of the smaller cube will be one cube. That will be one. So you have to find how many such small cubes will be there in this big cube. So that is 216 divided by 1. You will get 216 such cubes. So totally there are 216 small cubes uh, which will be formed when you cut the 6 cm cube into 1 cm each. So here we can uh, come up with the formula. So to find the total number of smaller cubes, you have to find volume of the bigger cube by volume of the smaller cube. So this becomes the shortcut to find total number of small cubes. Hope you understood the problem right? Okay. Now try to pass this video for 5 to 10 seconds and come up with the answer for this question. Hope you got the answer. A cube of side 16 cm is cut into small cubes of side 2 cm each. How many such small cubes will be formed? You know volume of the big cube divided by volume of the small cube gives you the total number of small cubes, right? So here the volume of big cube is A cube that is 16 cube and volume of the small cube is again A cube that is 2 cube. Now 6 cube by 2 cube, so 6, I mean 16 cube by 2 cube, 16 by 16, 16 into 16 into 16 by 2 into 2 into 2. So when you cancel this, you will get the answer. So 8 into 8 into 8. So 8 into 8 into 8, you get 512. 
so there will be 512 small cubes that will be formed when you cut the big cube of 16 centimeter into small cubes of size 2 centimeter each now moving to question number 3 a cuboid of size 7 centimeter into 6 centimeter into 2 centimeter dimension is cut into small cubes of size 1 centimeter each how many such small cubes will be formed so here you are cutting the cuboid into cubes and the dimensions of cuboid is given that is 7 centimeter into 6 centimeter into 2 centimeter which is nothing but length into breadth into height so in cube in cube we know all the sides are equal so volume is a cube so here all the sides are different so volume is length into breadth into height so this is volume of the cuboid now you have to cut this uh, big cube into small small cubes of 1 centimeter each so you have to cut this 7 centimeter for 6 times so you get 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 so totally uh, 7 1 centimeters and if you take the breadth you will get 1 1 1 1 and 1 6 1 centimeters and height region it is only 2 centimeter so you have to make only one cut so that you will get 1 plus 1 2 centimeter okay now what is volume of this big big cuboid 7 into 6 into 2 now what will be the volume of small cube 1 into 1 into 1 right so cube volume is a cube that is 1 into 1 into 1 so volume of the cube small cube is 1 and volume of the cube is 7 into 6 into 2 so 7 into 6 into 2 you get 84 and uh, volume of the cube is 1 so you get 84 small cubes so totally 84 small cubes will be formed from this cuboid hope you understood the problem moving to last question of the session a cuboid of side 4 cm into 3 cm into 2 cm is cut into small cubes of side 2 cm each how many such smaller cubes will be formed see the most popular wrong answer for this question is 3 smaller cubes because we know to find the total number of small cubes which is equivalent to volume of the biggest structure by volume of the smallest structure so here volume of the biggest structure is nothing but cuboid so you will write 4 into 3 into 2 volume of the smallest structure is cube that is 2 into 2 into 2 so when you solve this you will get 3 centimeter so if you do that I mean you will get 3 smaller cubes if you do that then your answer is wrong because uh, see here it is 4 centimeter length is 4 centimeter and breadth is 3 centimeter and height is 2 centimeter so if you want to cut this big cuboid into small cubes of size 2 centimeter each you will get a cube you will get a structure like this so here it's 4 centimeter you have to cut it for one time to get 2 centimeter and 2 centimeter side and here if you take this height it is only 2 centimeter so you don't need to cut across this height now if you take breadth so in breadth you have 3 centimeter so if you cut uh, for one time you will get 1 2 centimeter and another one will be 1 centimeter so this violet color shaded region will be in the form of cuboid right so you will get only how many smaller cubes so you get 1 and 2 smaller cubes from this 4 into 3 into 2 centimeter cuboid right so you have to look at each dimension so if each dimension is even number then only your answer is correct right so 4 into 3 into 2 so length is an even number and height is an even number but if you look the breadth it is 3 centimeter so in this type of cases you have to look at the structure carefully you have to look at the numbers and structures carefully then only you will get accurate number of smaller cubes that will be formed from the cuboid hope you understood the basic concept of cuboid right so i am not going to say something different so if you like the video like and share the video to your friends and click the nearby bell icon to get instant notification and if you have any doubt please don't hesitate to pass it in comment section below thanks a lot for watching have a nice day